Hello ladies and gentlemen, Q here with a quick tutorial. This is from a question that a student has. She's working on an RPG Maker project and has a little bit of a problem importing things. What, meaning that when she, for example, starts working on a map, uh, she has like weird colors when she inserts objects. So let, let me go ahead and show you what her problem is. All right, so here we have, you know, the standard tile set that I'm using this from PD Games. You might want to check them out. And the issue that she has that she is using some community resources. And um, when she puts them up in the map, the background does not appear to be transparent. So it kind of looks like this, which as you can see is kind of ugly. Um, the easiest way that I'm aware of that you can fix this is by actually using an image editor program. The reason that it looks like this it's because when whoever made the assets um, created them, they did not remove the background color from the image itself. So what you want to do is go to the project folder, which I already have here open. You want to go to graphics and you want to go into the tile set folder and identify the tile that you want to use, the tile set that you want to use, right? It looks like this. It should have transparent content, meaning that there should not be any color there. Right? And you cannot do this with a JPEG, it needs to be a PNG. So you want to use an image editing program like, for example, paint.net. That's the one that I use for this. It's, it's fairly simple to use and you can download it for free. I'll put the link below. And so what you do is you take the image and you import it into your image editing program. Open. Once you've done that, you use the magic wand to select everything that is the color that you don't want to appear in your program, right, in your game. So here you have that, you know, nasty green, bright green, neon green color. And so you go to the image editing program, you hold control and shift and click on the color with your magic wand and then just delete. Right? You hit the delete key in your keyboard and that's going to make it so that there's nothing there. It's transparent, right? It's not white. It's not whatever color. It's kind of messing up your game. It's just nothing. And so you go ahead and save it. Bam. And now when we go to the project folder, we'll see that the image is, it doesn't have that ugly green neon color anymore. And so when we go to our project, what we need to do is just refresh. All right. And so now you're not going to have that nasty color bothering you. So hopefully that helps you out. And if you have any problems with this, uh, feel free to bring your project folder in a flash drive um, to the university and I'll help you out with this. And if you're one of my online audience, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I will answer as quickly as you can. Okay, so thanks. Bye.